Don't waste a step. What now? All's well that ends... Yeah, not as bad as it could've. This does. That water looks tainted. Better to avoid it.
Just as I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion.
is my happy place. baby.
encouraging. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We enter him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> Rodent. Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall.
easy these days.
The darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Killed. Get rid of him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You killed her! The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Then you have two, and as many more as I can rip from enemy shoulders. But I have more than Minsk alone to offer. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. 
I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart. And whiskers. And cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mins to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. I give you my solemn vow. Should any of us show signs of weakening to the worm, or any other evil, who will slaughter us all in our beds? I hope this brings you comfort. Who and I are most adept in the doing of things, but... As you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. Good here, I hope. Traps. How 
considerate. What a day. That might be worth a look. A quick rummage. Hmm. What's that? When she was little, I couldn't wait for a time when she would stop needing us so much. No one back home will ever believe this. Beautiful day, isn't it? Do make the most of it. You never know how many you've got left. Moving in. Something to ask. Welcome back. You have come far, I perceive. Of course, my child. Within limits. I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. The absolute threatens thousands. The entire coast. And still you risked much to help one man. I should berate you. But... I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own. But whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight. Huh? Both of us. To the very end. He is an ass. I can make no promises beyond that. But even so, lead the way. We're yours to command.
dog is unable to speak through the... I don't know. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Fine lodgings you have found, my friend. Who is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place? In Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat-formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all! Now, what do you need of Minsk? Boo is overjoyed with our victory. Another den of evil vanquished and an old foe defeated. Well, Viconio was a friend for a short time beforehand, but then a foe once more. Yes, Boo, a most wicked witch. The very mention of her name gives him nightmares to this day. Boo and Minsk have traveled far and wide, and met many fine and not-so-fine people. It will surprise you to learn that even the wisest of friends do not always recognize Boo for what he is. Exactly! The Drowl was a cruel witch, but a clever one. She knew what Boo was right away, and she had never seen his like before. She wished to inspect his handsome magnificence, and so she did. One night, while he lay asleep, twitching his whiskers in happy dreams, she crept upon his tiny bedroll, holding a knife as slim as a toothpick. She meant to spill his miniature guts and study them. Ha! Minsk did not stop her. He did not need to. Boo never sleeps deeply while evil is near. He sprang into action and almost blinded the witch. She had fled from her camp by morning, when Boo told me the whole tale over a breakfast of berries and nuts. <sighs> a little rest to brush the road from Boo's fur, and then back to our adventure. So dark an alliance sealed with centish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. Do you think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... Gah! Ooh, why do you know at my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. There are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places. You must reach what Minsk cannot. The Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. At first there is nothing. His mind is empty as a still expanse of open country. Then, your face, the Stone Lord's face, mirrored in bloodied steel. In the heat of burning buildings, you hold your blade high above pale, frightened faces. No, that is not right. I slew only monsters. The voice said that they were monsters. A whisper, the Absolute's voice. Twisting the petty guild thieves before you into snarling savage beasts, feeding on the weak of your city. The guild. The Stone Lord hunted them, peeled away their rotten ranks one by one, 
to lay bare their corrupt heart. Nine fingers keen. That is what the Absolute bought Black Zentis Steel to do. To kill the Guildmaster. What does it matter? Cultish thinking has occupied Minsk's mind for long enough. Now is time for doing. And this talk of evil overthrowing evil, pa! Like a many-headed hydra biting at its own throat. Bring forth the hydra, says Boo! More faces for the punching! First we pop the center and blot, then we show nine fingers, the five fingers of Minsk! Yes? It is only justice, then, that we put a boot upon hers. Yes? 